So, this whole thing started in New York. I mean, Paris. Yes, yes, it is I. Frozen TV dinner looking Damon Dominique channel over here. Reporting live from once again, the one, the only. Wait, but then I did actually spend a month in New York <laughs> teaching French. Un ami qui a oublié l'anniversaire de son copain. And in the depths of my dark night of the soul existential crisis moment, the dark night of the soul, it sounds so extreme. I was like, Damon, like you're too free to let all this shit get to you. So I took matters into my own hands and booked a one-way ticket to Guatemala. <laughs> Took a taxi. I stayed a night at Antigua. Was I going to New York again? <laughs> I took a shuttle to Panama. I took a boat to San Marcos La Laguna. I took a tuk tuk. And then I still walked. <laughs> like, why was that so hard? <laughs> Do people just not like wear clothes up here? <laughs> like, I'm about to take all mine off. I think we were just flirting. Why is it so hard to get here? Oh, and now I'm two yoga classes in. I am here at a yoga retreat. Or again, I thought it was a yoga retreat. We'll get to it. I'm realizing people come here in groups and I'm like one of the only people alone. So I'm feeling clicky vibes, but I also know that's also in my head. Like, if I put that energy out there, like, hey, come talk to me, then it would happen. But I'm also kind of enjoying my solitary time. Y'all saw the last few videos. Or, okay, get rid of all, all living species. What is the point of the planet? I'm enjoying being in a new country. You know this is my thing. This is like what I do. Being in a new country, like writing down my field notes. <clears throat> Showing these TV streaming platforms. Who the bad bitches? All right, let's go. <laughs> okay, fuck, fine. Get up. 7.24. What is this? We'll get to this part later, but I'm trying to go no device. On a mic is a queen. Oh, right. I'm trying to go no device. I'm realizing that's hard. The reason the phone thing is not as smooth as I had once hoped. Everyone else is on their phones. You need a QR code to scan a, a menu. Google Maps is just like, you can't, you can't get anywhere. A flashlight at night. I arrived on a Thursday and everything's happening Thursday, Friday, Saturday and you have to book tickets. Also, I'm realizing everybody here in Guatemala uses WhatsApp to like book tickets. Like so far, I've talked to El Lanchero, like the boat dude, like I was talking to him on WhatsApp. <laughs> this hotel, the sound bath I'm gonna go to, and a yoga teacher, so. But I have turned my Wi-Fi off for three, four days. I've heard enough of you. It's enough. You too. Where's everybody going? Talk to the hands, talk to the hands. Keeping me up in my beauty sleep. It's a no. Like I saw this online. Let's go ask. I don't know if this is the Spanish school. This is not the Spanish school. I'm like, oh, sorry, I wasn't meant to do it. I'm leaving. I'm just trying to learn Spanish. All right, I'm out. So back to French it is. Spanish school arrow. was looking for a Spanish school, but I found her. I didn't even get your name, actually. Amber. 
Amber lives here. I do. Amber watches this channel. I do. <laughs> so I had a roommate in the States and we had just met. She had just moved into my place and she was like, what are you interested in? I was like, boost dreaming, astral projection, like meditation. Like I've really been getting into all of that. And she was like, interested in it. Kept seeing TikToks about it because you know, TikTok is listening to everything. Yeah, doing that practice up here, like the other retreat centers way up in the mountains here. So it's like no noise, no phone, no distraction. Like I was basically able to like, you know, practice. And how long, how long was the course? The it retreat? was four months and 21 days and 61 days of silence in it. Did no. you just want to scream at the end of it? No, dude, it was like 15 days in, I was so grateful because I was like, I've never got an opportunity to not speak in my life or not have someone need something from me or just like talk to me because they want to talk. Yeah, I had to learn like kind of how to self-soothe because in that much time in silence, like when stuff inevitably comes up, like you don't get to talk to people and just vent and like, you know? So the thing about lucid dreaming though, <laughs> that always messed me up. I was always afraid that I wouldn't be able to completely fall asleep. Like mm -hmm. to never be able to shut my brain off because mm -hmm. I'd be able to notice when I was dreaming. Yeah. And then say, is this a dream? Realize I'm dreaming and then I'm literally always there. Yeah. But like that's part of, that's part of like the Tibetan philosophy, like the mm -hmm. books of like the Tibetan book of living and dead, Let's they essentially see. say you're not awake or not so awakened in real life until you're awake in your dreams. sirve el almuerzo y el desayuno a en esta hora o sería un smoothie de kale y mantequilla de maní con unos tacos de tempe camifacta puedo pagar por el cosmic café para tomarlo después okay. <laughs> no 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 está bien no necesito It's nice for your mom at home. Ah, for my mom. Hey, tan trabajo también. Cuatro, cuatro, días. cuatro días. Para este. Mi maleta ya es tan pesada. Pero ese se puede poner en la pantalla. Sí, yo sé. No, es que no, no necesito más cosas. Pero son muy, muy bonitas. Hay más gente allá. Sí. Debe entrar. No compré nada. So I think what she said was super interesting. And I love anybody who can commit to a way that the majority of society doesn't believe in because that shows like courage and strength that you you can back up what you actually believe so she's thought about it you're never truly fully awake until you are like lucid dreaming or astral projecting where you're fully aware that you can do whatever you want but in our dreams much like reality we're just putting on a mask a, a role it's our ego we're trying to upkeep that role as much as possible so it's really when you are lucid dreaming that you are the most fully awake and that is your true being. I was like, it's a better explanation for anything else out here. So this is my schedule and everything. <laughs> Anytime somebody tells me I have something to do, I go off of this like, okay, let me pull up. What we doing, what we doing? What time is open mic night? Six to nine, where is it at? La Sala, okay. Voy a encontrar esta escuela. No sé si ustedes ya saben eso, pero español fue mi primer amor. Después descubrí francés en Barcelona, believe it or not, con dos chicas francesas. And then I was like, this is Spanish, I'm gonna go learn French. Yo, where is this place? Where am I? What? Where? Oh! Uh, no sé. No sé por qué estoy aquí. ¿Cómo te llamo? Damon. 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 ¿Será que espero que sería el lunes? ¿no? Ok, amigo. Listo. ¿Qué idioma fue esa? Es el Tzutugil. Ah, este del, del... Sí. ¿Eres de, de aquí, de San Marcos? Sí. Uh, la ciudad debería haber uh, cambiado mucho, ¿no? Sí. Con la turística, uh -huh. turismo. ¿Por el, el mejor o por el peor? Ah. El problema aquí, porque quizás no es un problema, hay un poco de, de, de confusión. Los restaurantes, hoteles, son de extranjeros. 
Sí. Y el dinero es para ellos mismos. Algunos empleados que tienen, pero es muy poco lo que pagan. ¿Cómo ellos han obtenido, obtenido el terreno? El terreno. Las mismas personas por necesidad vendieron el terreno uh -huh. y ahora subieron ellos hasta más arriba. Es posible caminar por la orilla, todo es libre. Ah, y aquí no. Todo es libre porque el terreno no están vendidos, pero aquí ya todo es privado. Es interesante porque yo, por ejemplo, no descubrí esta ciudad antes de que yo he encontrado el Eagle's Nest uh -huh. y estoy aquí para, no sé, experiencia, experiencia. experiencias experiencia. locales. Sí. Es difícil porque soy vegano y quiero comer en los restaurantes veganos ah. que son, que los dueños son extranjeros. Sí. I think I might be late for my yoga class. Just got done with my third yoga class or whatever. Everything I want to say, I write down right here. Because guess where it's not going? My phone. Because guess why? Because I'm disconnected. Except for all those Instagram pictures I'm taking. <laughs> like, where do we start? So, what you guys are seeing is everything that's happening outside of uh, the yoga, which is an hour and a half, by the way. Twice a day. So it's at 8 a.m. and then 4.30. So that takes up three hours of my day, followed by a vegan meal, which lasts about an hour, followed by I try to block off one hour for reading. So that's how many hours? Seven hours of my waking day, like, psych! Like, I'm doing that, um, really focusing on my time here. Oh, the books. So you know, some people travel and they bring a book. Uh, I brought... This one I'm reading right now, it's going in. If there's no chance of discovering the truth like about reality, then there's no need to fret about anything. We can then distance ourselves from all the firm beliefs because firm beliefs always involve delusion. Because like, you, how could you be so sure? You're only fooling yourself. So that's one book, but then I have this one. I learned more in the six or seven hours of this experience, psychedelic experience, than I had in all of my years as a psychologist. So that's book two. You know we got... Won't leave my backpack. This is what's weighing me down. <laughs> what does it all mean? Like, this one was okay. It didn't need to cost $30. Like, first off, like, yeah, can you even see it? <laughs> one of the agreements, don't take anything personally. Anything, literally anything anybody does is a reflection of what's going on inside of their brain at that time. We see the world, not as it is, but as we are. And like, can you even see me? Because I feel like I'm blurry. So you live here? Mm-hmm. Okay, have you gotten used to the dogs? At oh, night? The do I'm such a hard sleeper. I, was I like, thought I was too. I was like built for this, yeah. Then I just, yeah, I got super used to it. That was that silent retreat. Yeah. You learned yeah, to, to deal with us. ¿Tienes un perro? No, yo no tengo perro. Fortunadamente. Yo no tengo perro, pero aquí hay muchos perros. Hay muchos, no? The question is just like, since this is such a spiritual lake, Maybe these animals can like sense something at night <laughs> that like we can't, you know. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Oh my God. It's Saturday. Saturday, 6.29 a.m. That is 
Jones tank. Okay, but of all the places for my freaking red microphone cord to just go missing right now before the sound bath, I'm about to do some <clears throat> psychedelic cocoa. Like, not right before the sound bath. I don't actually know if it's psychedelic. Uh, I guess we'll find out. And because, say it with me, I'm phoneless, <laughs> or internetless, I wrote down the directions and then I got here 20 minutes early, so I didn't realize it was right around the corner. <laughs> so here I am. Reasons why the phone thing is not recommended. Hold on, let me look through my notes. <laughs> I had something I wanted to say. Oh, okay. <clears throat> you see how I like, don't even care about the angle anymore? Like, it's not flattering. I think that's why I haven't gone on a date in a while. Oh my God. Um, I want to learn the history of this lake, aka look it up, but I can't. Which is fine, I'm living in the present. Oh, I'm checking out in two days and I have no idea what's available to book for the next place, so mm, yeah. This whole idea is like a little funky in the first place. I should do it in a city that I already know. Oh, when I was taking out money from the ATM, first off, there were no more funds, so you have to go to the like the lady at the cash register and she, first off, charges 20%. Anyways, I was taking money out, didn't have a currency converter, so I was just like, 400? ¿Qué tal es? That's it. That's all I know. That's all I know. Let's go. What is going on in here? Yeah. <laughs> what is this? So we have all these instruments, and each one carries a different frequency. And the frequencies basically overwhelm the brain to where we can't think anymore. And then the body can come back to its natural state of wellness, because each cell has innate memory, so long as our mind is out of the way. Some of the instruments are more overwhelming. <laughs> Instruments are you know more subtle, and it depends how you play them too, right? Like the, the Tibetan bowls, you can you know one can strike them kind of softly. And one of the things, of course, that we love about a structure like this is how how well the sound, the sound carries you know, vibrations. You know, because if you were in a in a square space or an outdoor space, that that would be a lot of subtleties. A lot of subtleties would be lost. Think of like you know how you can do this with the, the wine cups, and then it'll start making that like Yeah, things like um, what they call binaural beat. When you have two notes that are close, like this is an A and an A sharp, it creates an effect that actually puts our brain into a theta state. Does the cocoa play into it? You take hot cocoa or cocoa tea. I'm confused as well. You the cow had been taken from you know from Central America and these more temperate zones and to Europe where they turn it into candy, right? They add a lot of sugar and milk. Chocolate. And oh, these are the beans that you make it out of. Yeah. Yeah, so the cacao beans. So a lot of people <laughs> come here for just solely for cacao mm -hmm. ceremony and learning more about cacao. Me. Love, <laughs> Me for one. Yeah, we feel like the combination of cacao mm. and, and the sound tools is, is more than enough to have a profound healing experience. Ooh. Ooh. <sighs> oh, I like you, so, do you have any insider tips about the dog barking at night? Oh. <laughs> you just get used to it? Earplugs of our days. <laughs> we call it San Barcos. No! Yeah. <laughs> San Barcos. San Barcos. That's hilarious. Yeah, luckily he doesn't bark. It's such a blessing. Because the sound bath. <laughs> I was gonna ask, so do you... There's no post office here. No. You just don't get mail. You don't do... They don't do... San Marcos doesn't do mail. 
No, they have like DHL. Um, and I think there are some other carrier services that come through Miami. Oh, okay. But yeah, the mail service of Guatemala has been completely shut down for three years. And probably four what? now. It just doesn't even... It doesn't even exist. Stop. <laughs> so you just, you don't send anything. No. I, I sent a letter, like one piece of paper to the States. I had to do some legal stuff. And it was $50 to send one piece of paper to the DHL. <laughs> do you plan on, do you plan on staying here for a while? No plans to leave. Yeah, that's the vibe. That's the vibe I'm getting. It's kind of like everyone just—I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. I'm just kind of seeing yeah. what I want to do. Yeah, when we first arrived here, I was trying to make plans and like build an online business, and the lake's like plans. No, you're gonna just like chill out. Yeah, that that doesn't work here. Yeah. No. Okay. Yeah, you could say Agilent has has its own plans for for you and us and everyone that comes here. Uh -huh. San Marcos is uh, surreal. It's I don't know what you can call it. <laughs> I mean, there are no uh, like there are no cars here. No, no there's no. tuk tuks. Well, there are a few cars, but and I started coming here because I was living off the grid in Quebec. So that was my transition, really. And it was at that time when I was in Quebec, living off the grid, I started coming to Guatemala and Mexico, and found that same soul that I that attracted me to Quebec. You know? Is this the full-time job then? You're doing sound baths and sound workshops and... Kundalini yoga. Mm -hmm. Kundalini, that's what you've been doing forever. I, I dropped out of business school. That's as far as I got in, in that world, uh, which is good because I, would've, would've, I probably would have killed myself. Or, right? I mean, I, I, <laughs> watch the knife. Yeah, watch the <laughs> um, I, like to, I like to cook. I'm a good cook. But yeah, so I, I've been uh, pursuing the, the path of healer slash yoga instructor, mentor for a better part of 30 years now. Yeah, it's been about eight years for me. Mm -hmm. I personally know a lot of people who are skeptics. What would you guys say to them or just not even worry about them? If you are coming to a place like San Marcos, a good dose of skepticism is highly recommended. <laughs> I, I consider myself an elder now. I, I've just turned 59 and I've been doing on this spiritual path for, like I said, half, half of that life at least. Okay, yeah, so we're, we're already set up online, you know, the School of Nod, and building trust with your own inner guidance, however you describe that or experience that. And we, we, we work with our clients or, and our students honing that. Because we all have, we all have inner guidance, if you will, or higher guidance you know, to tap mm -hmm. into. It's just a matter of accessing that. Right? Okay, and what about, so after the sound baths and the kundalini yoga, what does a real day look like for you guys? Are you guys watching Netflix at night? Come on. <laughs> Are you watching reality shows? Come on, which no, ones? <laughs> we, would, we would watch Netflix if there had any good stuff on Thank there. you, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, we like to download Mostly YouTube. Yeah. And we do, we download some movies. Because yeah. Pirate Bay is legal here. <laughs> I know, I love it. That's the real living abroad <laughs> secret. We, we all have our sights. What do los guatemaltecos do el sábado? Por acá no hacemos mucho. No. Nosotros por acá no hacemos mucho. No hacemos nada más que compartir un poco con la familia y ya estar descansando porque. Pero no no salen las actividades así. Eh, es para los vamos, turistas. Vamos vamos también uh, cuando hay porque estas actividades no es como que se hace a cada semana o cada año, ah, sino que es a cada cada mes. I'm here with Chastity and Amber. <laughs> we doing what time is open mic night? Six to nine. Where is it at? La Sala. Okay. <laughs> I 
actually wrote down something you said yesterday to talk about in the video. So just yesterday, she was saying how even though she knew singing in front of people at open mic night scared her, she also knew that she had to do it because when we avoid certain things, it becomes so obvious that it's pointing to some deeper insecurity or general anxiety, which again, points to us clinging to a specific part of our ego. Basically, we're letting others be in control of how we operate in our lives. <laughs> like, even just saying that sounds ridiculous. And so she wanted to overcome that. And so I was proud of her. Wait, so these dogs just r ran up on here. Yeah, but Ropey, okay, this little guy right here wandered in a couple days before I got into Costa Rica, not Costa Rica, Guatemala, and those two drinks. <laughs> those two drinks. I'm just telling you, every restaurant I've been in, there's been a new dog. Yeah. <laughs> they just run up in here. They, exactly, like it's their, it's their land, you know? They have them. 8.58, and you wanna hear something dumb I just did? Like, I just walked back to my place and I saw this. Yeah, that's a door wide open. Okay, and I gotta ask what that is, like, they can't be shooting that many people. <laughs> also, like, this isn't a place to just be walking around at night, cause there's not many, much light on the street. So you know I was booking it. <laughs> I paid my tuk-tuk. Like, is it tuk tuk or tuk tuk? Paid my tuk tuk, 15. I said, Tengo que ir a Ligas Nes, pero solo tengo 15. I think I'm gonna read that book right there and call it a night. A calm, calm night. At 9 01 on a Saturday night. Body on sore sore. His body ain't sculpted like a Mayan statue. <laughs> Six thirty. Where were the dogs? Me over here like setting my intention for the day. <laughs> I'm sorry, these, are, these just aren't the words that I use, but I do like always try to put purpose behind everything I do, you know? Wow, it's so pretty. Let's go out there. You know what I realized? Maybe the reason I feel so rejuvenated is, well, maybe one, because there's a tree right here. I've been outside. Like, this is essentially a tree house. I dookie dookie outside. I shower outside. I eat outside. <laughs> All these activities are outdoors. They're just kind of in these structures, so uh Hola, amigo. I'm a little afraid to turn my phone on because it's like like I know I have two phone calls on Tuesday, that's in two days. Like I don't wanna see it. Yeah, for people here, this is their real life. They're just <sighs> Well. I have yoga, my fourth or fifth class. If I can move this body, let's just hope it's not hip, hip hop, hip opener. I didn't realize that to get money out, you have to do that before Sunday because everything's closed. <laughs> so I have a limited amount of money. I'm trying to save it to go to this guy at Dance Temple. And I don't have enough to get the freaking <laughs> tuk tuk there and back. So I have to walk to the next town over. I might have to do some shady things in the bushes to make some quick cash flow in San Marcos. 
Oh my god, me in 50 years. Probably lost his way. Am I close? Yeah. Oof, it really is downhill. No wonder he looked all red. <laughs> Okay, now if you've never heard of movement, or they're calling it contact, I think contact method or contact dancing, it's a style of dance where you just move. It doesn't matter what you look like, it doesn't matter how you move, there's no right way to do it, just kind of like yoga, actually. But it's a little uncomfortable. You know, as humans, we're like, what are, what are other people thinking? I must look really awkward. And that's kind of the whole point, to overcome one's own ego. My tuk tuk girl, <laughs> passing me by, leaving me cold turkey. Leaving me solo. Amber and Chastity. Go and buy me in a tuk tuk. Okay, at least they're not there yet. <laughs> I'm in the mountains of Guatemala right now. I'm living my best life. There's a rule no phones on the dance floor, which I respect. <laughs> Sound the uh, everyone's just honestly liberated. Everyone's here to be here. And you can feel that. I keep saying, I feel like I'm on summer vacation. Amber, how do we get to the astral plane? <laughs> and she's like, it's you go there every night. You do. We fall asleep essentially, we become unconscious, and then our astral body slips out and does whatever we do while we're dreaming, or it's in our head. Really shrew me. And we essentially have a veil over our eyes as humans to keep us to be able to like do the physical things. Everything like in this life right now is a dream, is a dream because yeah. we're all like so focused on this one identity. Me as Damon Dominique, yeah. you as Amber, I don't even know what your last name is. Jones. <laughs> Amber Jones. And so we're yeah. so confined to this one role. Yeah. Whereas in a dream when we're lucid, we're like, I can go fly, I can do, and that's like our, the real us. Yeah. I don't know, it sounds convincing to me. Yeah. We cling to our ego in the physical world like, uh, like, Someone clings to a pole, essentially. Yes. Like, like letting it go, just yeah, it provides so much clarity because it's like you're, I'm, we're not talking head to head anymore. Right. I'm able to feel what you're saying, and there's so much more compassion. If you're coming at me, I'm like this person is hurting, and I need to have compassion for them. Like it's not like it, I'm not trying to defend myself anymore because I know that I'm safe and taking. You're good. Care of it. Yeah. 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 I told myself, chastity. This is just a dream. Like. What the hell? Like you already know, just get out of it, you know? And I had that like consciousness with inside my my lucid dream that like went on to the next dreams one. That we get from our subconscious that are trying to wake us up also. So it's like recurring dreams. A dead people in your dream are also trying to get you to wake up because it's like little signs essentially. A lot of people stumble onto lucid dreaming just because they're cultivating more presence in your life. Like part of the reason we don't realize the absurdity of our dreams is because we accept things like that in real life. So I've had a lot of dreams where I'm just like accepting like the bare minimum and I'm kind of upset and like, oh, peeved off about it because I do that in real life. But if I were to be like, hey, why is this happening to me? Like, if I wouldn't allow this behavior, then I would realize it was a dream, you know? Mm -hmm. it's one of people she said that. And it doesn't help that it's a compost toilet, which means it's like everybody can hear everything. Help me. 637. Oh, Voicemail, voicemail, voicemail. Oh, no. Do 
digestive issues much. No voy a grabar todo. Solo quiero grabar algunas cosas. Sí, sí, no hay problema. Ok. Pero tienes que enviarme qué es lo que vas a Sí, puedo. Yo he escuchado que el lago es como espiritual, mágico. Uh -huh. ¿Crees eso? La mayor parte son los mayas, porque para ellos es un dios el lago. Eh, respetan mucho. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, si ellos van al a la pesca, ellos necesitan pedir permiso. También vas a estas como restaurantes veganos o tiendas de astrología. ¿Los guatemaltecos de aquí creen en estas cosas? Sí, al, hay, hay personas también, los guatemaltecos creen en eso. Uh -huh. ¿Y la, la ropa? Vestimento. Vestimento. He, he visto uh -huh. que es solo las mujeres que se visten uh -huh. con ropa tradicional, pero no, los hombres no. Es muy grueso, entonces ellos no, no pueden porque cuando van al sol hace mucho calor, entonces mm -hmm. no aguantan. Hold on, she just said, cuando tiene dolor de cabeza, mm -hmm. eh, yo voy a comprar Potato. papas fritas. ¿Como papas? Papas, sí, ah, sí pero okay. no papas fritas. <laughs> Cada papas lo pones aquí y tú lo puedes amarrar. Okay, interesante. Oh, Gracias. Una aspirina. <laughs> <laughs> Muy. Mi médica. Uh -huh. You're my doctor, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I paid for three hours, but I said I gotta go. Like, I can't do this anymore. Que mucho gusto y que tengas un buen día. Okay, chao, chao. Adiós. Oh my, did you just see that? Like a fucking booby trap, I walked into the Bar Briar. Help me. Dog. <laughs> Creo que es algo del, del agua, no estoy acostumbrado tal vez. Mm -hmm. Me siento, tengo dolor de cabeza. Mm -hmm. Y un poco estómago, el, el baño. Uh -huh. Bueno, está bien, prefiero cosas naturales. ¿Diarrea tiene? Sí. ¿Diarrea tiene? <laughs> Desafortunadamente. <laughs> Hola. Ay, Kurko está bien. Bueno, vamos a hacer esto. Algo fuerte. <laughs> ¿Puedo grabar esto? Sí, se puede. Es lo que usted toma cuando. Sí. Bueno. Este es anti-COVID. Anti-COVID. Sí. <laughs> The pharmacy gave me this to knock whatever is in my body out and then probiotico. And this is probably $11. Like, we talk at CVS prices over here. Shawty got me.